as you can see, I didn't do the side quests or stuff like that because I actually have to do the story first and apparently the mission, the events too. The Penryl Commission is directly controlled by the Shogun. They're the ones responsible for maintaining law and order in Inazuma. The ones actually enforcing the Vision Hunt Decree. But why would they take action against one of their own? Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. Huh? There seems to be some commotion over there. Let's go see what's happening. I'll ask one more time. Do you intend to withhold this month's emergency provisions? The entire clan is counting on that food. We demand an explanation. How many times do I have to say it? I don't know anything about emergency provisions. You dare deceive us? Those provisions are essential. Do you understand? Not some goods to be pocketed by greedy samurai. You samurai think you can just do whatever you please? The Tenryo Commission will hear of this! Oh, uh, huh? And who are you? One of Kurosawa's gang, no doubt. Uh, what? We just happened to be passing by! We heard the commotion and came to see what the matter was. I see. You seem to have come just at the right time. Perhaps you can help us settle this matter. How? This is Kurosawa. He's a samurai and a member of the Shogun's army. They issue emergency provisions to the area, and he's the one responsible for distribution. In the past, we'd simply ask him for provisions and everything would be delivered. Now, he suddenly refuses to give us anything. He's keeping the provisions for himself. I just know it. We'll starve without them. No one seems to care about us. We used to think Kurosawa was a kind man, but he's shown his true colors. He's the same as all the other samurai. It's no wonder all the visions have been confiscated. The Raiden Shogun doesn't need people like him helping her rule the nation. This must be one of the people Ayaka asked us to help. But why would she ever want us to help someone like him? Maybe we should talk to Kurosawa and see what he has to say. He's right there. Like this is something confusing. Like we're talking like we are in the distance or something. But no, they are right here. They can see hear us. I've never even heard of these emergency provisions. I don't know whether it's rumors or whether they're trying to blackmail me. But either way, it's ridiculous. If I was hoarding supplies, would I still be the poor man I am today? My own family can barely get by as it is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got other matters to attend to. Okay, it's a um, pain that Visa somehow made with a little part of the... Like, if you have your little brain... A little move and just still in your position like a stick with all your family photos or something like that but if you are i want to do this like say from my character if i took their vision just for a day do they i gonna forget about something and what that be even it's kind of confusing how this works and that's the first bit of truth i've heard all day the Shogun's army told me that I was unworthy of my vision. And they said I was slacking off of my work. Apparently, I'd even disappointed the Raiden Shogun. And that's why they confiscated my vision. Well, that's strange. You were helping enforce the Vision Hunt Decree. Why would you be unworthy of your vision? To be perfectly honest, I don't seem to remember the details. All I know is that I would perform certain things every month. But I don't recall what they were. And it's not just that. I have this unsettling feeling. Like, like someone owes me something. Does it have to do with the missing emergency provisions? I didn't take any. Like I said, if I was taking them for myself, I wouldn't be going through such hard times right now. To top it all off, my house was just raided by treasure hoarders. Which is why I came here in the first place. I was chasing after them when I got held up by these two. If you don't believe me, 
Go find the treasure hoarders yourself. If there were any emergency provisions to be had, they would have found them. Huh. He seems to be telling the truth. But we better confirm. Let's go round up those treasure hoarders and see what they have to say. We should be able to follow their tracks. They couldn't have gone too far. I'm surprised there are treasure hoarder here. And not like, I don't know, call them new name. So yeah, apparently when you took the view of someone, you cannot, I don't know, take a piece of their memories or something like that. Huh? Hmm. Oh, there he is. We really outdid ourselves this time. All those samurai houses packed with goods? <laughs> we really hit the jackpot. I mean, besides that one house. You haven't seen anything yet. There'll be a lot more where this came from. Today's just the beginning. I'll be leading you all on an epic journey of pillage and plunder that will go down in hoarder history. You demand, boss. These seem like the treasure hoarders we're after. Let's teach them a lesson. Yes, finally. Let's light it up! Huh. Blitz! <laughs> I got Ooh. Have a little taste! Huh? I'm over oh, here! There goes all the Mora! We worked hard to steal that, you know? Come on, boss! Think of something! <clears throat> Not bad, kid. You ever think of joining the treasure hoarders? We could use someone like you. Kurosawa. Oh, I remember. So he's the one who sent you after us, huh? <laughs> Just our luck. I knew we shouldn't have hit that place. So what did you see inside? Was it stuffed with food supplies? Food supplies? <laughs> you kidding? That place was a complete mess. All we found was a strange-looking box, hopefully with valuables inside. I didn't want anyone else to see it. So I was planning on opening it myself once we got back. But now that you've caught us, how about we make a deal? That little box for our freedom. What do you say? You've got a deal! Now show us what's in the box! Huh? I'm gonna keep that. What the? the? What? There's nothing in here but IOUs! The what? Yeah, a lot of them too! And they all seem to be made out to the owner of a general goods store, a Miss Aoi. We're talking tons of Mora here. We better talk to this Miss Aoi and get to the bottom of this. Oh, uh, I own you. you. You're no, free to go. I get. Just pray that our paths don't cross again. Y yes, of course. So we redeemed ourselves for some IOUs. Uh, does that mean we broke even? Shut it. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, feel the team. I can now where. Welcome to Tsukumomono Groceries. We've got everything you need. Can I help you find something? Or perhaps there's something you want to inquire about? About this Ayos. Ah, so you're friends of Kurosawa, I take it. <laughs> Perhaps you're here to pay off his debts. Whoa, whoa! Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're just here to learn where they all came from. How did Kurosawa end up owing you so much money? Did he buy anything super expensive here? Let me think. Kurosawa would come regularly to purchase large quantities of foodstuffs. He'd always put the payment on his own account. However, the price of provisions began to skyrocket recently, and his salary was no longer enough to cover the cost. So, he started writing out IOUs to cover whatever he couldn't afford of the usual amount. So that's how he was getting those emergency provisions. But why did he have to purchase a usual amount? 
the price has increased, couldn't you just buy less? Well, if you think about it, the citizens receiving the emergency provisions must have been carefully calculating how much they needed to sustain them each time. Kurosawa thought that it would be quite the disappointment for them if they found they didn't have enough, especially after such long and careful planning. What so planning? he deemed it necessary to take on the debt rather than let the people down. Wow. Kurosawa was purchasing all the emergency provisions at his own expense. And no one ever appreciated what he did. They just complained and held him accountable. People's attitudes will always reflect their circumstances. In the face of hardship, nobody cares to think twice. Uh, if you ask me, had Kurosawa told everyone the truth about the supplies from the start, then there wouldn't be such a severe backlash now. Of course, I'm sure there would still have been some unrest. What he was doing was truly a thankless deed. As for why he chose to spend his own money on emergency provisions and never tell anyone, I'm still not too clear myself. If you're still curious, why don't you go ask him yourself? Yeah, I don't know. Did we ever... Are we talked what vision they have like? I'm curious what kind of vision they have. He, and the old man and... Who, how is his name? Again, this name is gonna take me a while to learn them out. I see. That reminds me, it seems that his vision was recently confiscated. Most unfortunate. If he doesn't clear the debt on his name, he'll have no choice but to sell that sword that is so dear to him. Sword? What sword? Oh, didn't he tell you? He possesses a very valuable blade. He's carried it for years now. I've asked him about its origins. He told me that it was a gift from his father, that it was too precious to sell. In hindsight, I regret that I never made an offer on it. Everything has its price, at least that's what I think. Why don't you ask him about the sword yourself? Perhaps it'll even provide you with the answers you're looking for. Oh, but before you go, if you would kindly settle today's bill. Uh-oh. <laughs> but we didn't buy anything! <laughs> Information is also a kind of commodity, wouldn't you agree? Don't worry, I won't charge much for information about Kurosawa. Nothing we ever discussed was explicitly confidential anyway. Oh, let me think. 2,000 mora should be a fair price. Okay, kind <laughs> like this NPC, how sneaky he is. At least we now know where the emergency provisions are coming from. Plus, we found out that Kurosawa has a priceless sword in his possession. Let's go talk to Kurosawa again and see if he can remember anything. Hmm, why do I think he's one of the new souls or the new Inazuma weapons? Those in the gacha only, right? Or I can craft them. I think I can craft them. Yourself? Where did those other two go? I presented them with a choice. Either they left or I drew my sword. They left. It turned out to be a real time saver, actually. Perhaps I should start using it more often. Did you manage to track down the treasure hoarders? Actually... Everything I said was true, right? That just about sums it up. It turns out that you really were distributing emergency provisions, but they were all purchased at your own expense. Strange. Is that really the kind of person I was? I don't really have any such recollection. Even after all you've told me, I still don't remember anything. Why was I purchasing emergency provisions for everyone? And why would I put myself in such a difficult situation? <sighs> really don't understand but I cannot deny that when I brandished my sword to scare those two away I could sense that my body was somehow reluctant to do so okay how much do you lose yourself when you use a visa like if 
is that easy imagine like a, a city with people with vision and nothing have a thief that's just stolen like and brave people just has vision even in their back like jean can have her vision stolen and be i don't know very tired or something like that she can do she can do her work or something Or the honor actually if he lost her battle that her vision is on will she actually make a bad bit geosis or what are called i'm really curious this sword was once wielded by my father i remember once when i was young i wanted to sneak out with the blade and show it off to the kids next door my father ended up catching me in the act and scolded me severely. What did he say? <sighs> I can't seem to remember that either. It would seem that I forgot many important things when my vision was taken from me. So many memories gone. Forever. No matter how hard I try to remember, all I can remember now is my father telling me this blade bore his life's creed. Before he passed away, he placed the sword in my hands and said to me, With this sword, you should... Kill. <sighs> hey, if you look carefully, there seems to be some words engraved on the hilt. Can you recognize the words? Virtue and... Justice? Somehow those two words seem to explain everything now. Taking on seemingly endless debts to make others happy. I guess that must have been my greatest ambition after all. But what use are virtue and justice? I purchased the provisions for those in need. And look how things ended up. The Tenryo Commission seized my vision. And the very people I was so desperately trying to help refused to understand me. And the irony of all of it is, I somehow still felt sorry when threatening them with my blade. I'm incapable of being a good person, yet I'm equally unable to be bad. I... I don't know what to do with myself. Yet another troubled soul. When we get the chance, Let's speak to Toma about Kurosawa's debt. The Yashiro Commission would surely help cover his expenses. In any case, we must never let him sell off that sword. Yeah, seems like losing all ambition is a terrible experience. Fortunately for us, you don't have a vision. Let's go find the next poor soul. So do that, like 90% of the people, like, vision are real. Now with this contact, like if you lose your visa, I mean, look at this. Someone can snatch her from the neck. Look at Beidou. I mean, someone can sold the, what is this, like a deck or uh, something? Look at Beidou. Someone can easily steal it. But, okay, I think she's kind of, you know, bedded in the back or something like that. So at least you actually use a scissor or something or to rip the clothes off I think you can answer but let's look at the characters you can still shine your belt okay generally it doesn't count or venti because they are fake wait she can literally I don't know when she has to go to bed, but not gonna sleep with the vision on, with the dam. She gonna have to put it away. I think, where is her? Hmm, same situation with Huta, but again, if you can rip the clothes, you can steal easier. Child, mm, I can't say much about him in what situation you can steal his belt. Although I bet the fangos uh, gonna really enjoy that. Again, you can see easier there. And is her a little bigger than normal? 
this one is a little bigger. I can just rip it off. Else, oh. again, it depends on the situation. I mean, this Rosaya and Child, they have like, you know, you trying to steal from me, kind of vibe. And I guess you cannot do. And look at Diona. Uh, do, she doing things with that. Imagine if he just forget one day somewhere and he she lost it. Same with Kai, they're just hanging around. Like most of the time they are just keep with a chain, a little belly lock to say. If people can lose half of their cell just because of the vision is not connected with them, that really says something. Okay, let's do the same because I kinda gun in a tens and ten now. Okay, well to go.